Hey there guys, so today we're going to try out how can we perform pivoting using SSH to pivot into this internal network machine. Oh here we have our Windows 7 machine, this 192.168.0.112, this subnet, which is the same subnet with our Kali Linux machine 192.168.0.139. So our Kali Linux machine can communicate with this Windows 7 machine, but over here, this Windows 7 machine got another interface which is the different subnet over here 192.168.112.128 which this Windows 7 machine can communicate with this Metasploitable 2 machine only and our Kali Linux machine are not in the same subnet as this Metasploitable this subnet so we are unable to access this IP address let's, can, let's give it a try 192.130. In this machine, there's a port 80 open, so we can access if we have the access to it, right? We are able to access, but over here, actually, we are not in the same subnet with it, so we unable to access it. In order to access it, we need to perform pivoting. So let's try out over here. We we have the access to this Windows 7 machine, right? We can use SSH to perform uh, perform dynamic port forwarding. So over here, we perform dynamic port forwarding. We use this one. This, this port is our local port now. We need to put a listening to perform the port forwarding. And then we need to perform an SSH connection to this machine. This is the IP for this Windows 7 machine. Okay. Okay, so now we have the access to it ready, and we perform the dynamic port forwarding. So over here we need to edit our proxy chain. This file config file. Over here we need to make sure that this one is a strict chain, and then over here we put source for our local IP, and then. 7789 which is the port forwarded okay so we save this one okay so now let's give it a try we try to access into this IP address we try to access the website using 54 into the specified proxy chain right over here okay so we access it and once it 8.112.130 okay Oops, need to close it first. Then we run it again. Okay, as you can see over here, through this port forward, this dynamic port forward SSH tunneling, we are able to access the internal network, the website. So, over here, we can try to gain a reverse shell from it, but using to gain a reverse shell, we need to perform SSH remote tunneling, eh, remote port forwarding. Okay, over here, bin. So, let's make an example. This one. Okay. Send this one to low first. Storage. Okay. This one, close it. Okay, so ID. Okay, so now we want to get a reverse shell. In this case, we need to perform open over here. Okay, first we need to do a remote tunneling, remote port forwarding, and over here we need to specify this IP, the internal IP of this Windows 7 machine. 192.168.112.128 and then we put a port for it 77891 like this and then this one will be our local IP with I put 1890 okay now we have done the remote port forwarding already so now in order to get a reverse shell Specify this one, and then zero. 
then this because this port right I'm using this this port the same port as I perform the remote port forwarding from this IP address the internal IP of this machine to my this local this port okay so over here put dash point oh here I need to specify this IP with this uh, this port because we are performing a connection to it right then from this port we will pass perform a port forwarding into our local port so over here I put 12.128 and then the port is 7781 send it see we gain a connection already put ID and voila who am I? Postname. And I'm in this internal network, this machine ready right now. So we try to get a better PTY shell over here. Okay, so now we are in this machine ready. So, home. okay. So as you can see, now we are in the remote machine. We try to leave a message over here. I leave it in this file. Okay. I put echo on internal machine. Why nobody else? Admin.txt. Okay, so we try to go from this machine, we try to access, check and see is there any message left over here. Okay, as you can see, there's a readme file. And voila, now the internal machine has been pawned by me. Okay, <laughs> just okay. So, in this case, that's how we can perform pivoting using SSH. So, that's all for my video. Thanks, guys. Bye bye.